Hello everyone, welcome back to Service Now 911. In today's video, we are discussing about field normalization. So, what is field normalization? As the name suggests, normalize it means it streamline it integrate the data which is coming into the field. But how? So, tell me the ways we enter data into Service Now. The very first one is manual entry when you write something on the form directly. It is coming via discovery from different different sources or you can import it uh, using all these options which I have mentioned JDBC, STPP, Excel, CSV and XML. So the data is coming from n number of sources. So there will be a high possibility of change in the data structure, change in the uh, data representation. Okay, because data is coming from different different sources. Let me give an example. So let's take an example of operating system. You know, it is coming via discovery and there are n number of uh, systems which it will discover. And from that, we may expect all these type of options. Like if it is operating system, then it will be a Windows 7 Professional, Microsoft Windows 7 Pro. All these options are possible because, you know, what the information you feed in the system, it will retrieve. So it is the same thing, right? What problem we face with this data? Let me show you. It is a misrepresentation of data. It may be a duplicate data, right? And it is the same data, but different formatting. Ultimately, it is a non-integrated and looking weird data. Along with all these problems, you will face issues with the reporting, as well as when you want to use the operating system in some kind of script, the data is confusing. In the same way, there is an example of manufacturer. HP versions, HP inclusive, compact, all these options are available, right? It will come from various data sources. Here also the information is same, but it is represented in different ways. So how to overcome this? To overcome this, we have the field normalization. In that, we have to identify all these type of subnames and then come up with a normalized name, normalized value. So here we have set up the normalized value to HP. So, so whenever the data come with HP, HP inclusive, have a packet and uh, compact it will replace it with hp so that the system look integrated and standard okay in the same way if the data is coming with any of these operating system names we have to normalize the name to microsoft windows 7 professional so it will look more professional now along with that it will help you in better reporting and better configurations so to start with the normalization of fields, you have to go with the free plugin available in service now that is com.nc field normalization. Let me show you one example of this. Look at this. This is an demo instance and here I have a normalized field. OK, so when I write Windows XP and I save it, you see it has changed it to a standard one, which is normalized one that is Windows. Whatever field is normalized, you will see this icon there to identify that this is a normalized field. Click on it. You will see the normalized field name here. And these all are the values which I want to replace. So once you install the plugin, you will have all these options. OK, so if you think field normalization is the one which you can use in your organization, it is free and it is useful thank you so much subscribe to the channel bye bye